Hello and welcome to this short presentation brought to you by the Donia Anna County Legislative Coalition. As a community and a region, Southern New Mexico has proven that collaboration is the key to changing the future for our families, our community, and our state. We know that innovation and change can only take place when we set aside individual agendas and unite around a common set of priorities. The 2017 New Mexico Legislative Session presents the opportunity to rally policy in support of achieving success in Doña Ana County and across the state. The lack of resources is no reason for us to fail to seize this moment to realize the potential and promise that lies ahead for us as a state. Rather, it's the perfect moment to create alignment and collaboration that brings to scale the best practices and best investments to benefit New Mexico's citizens statewide. On behalf of the partners of the Doña Ana County Legislative Coalition, we present the following opportunities for the 2017 legislative session to continue supporting forward progress for our community. We must not balance the budget today by undermining the ability to build a skilled and ready workforce that fuels our economy for years to come. Proposed cuts in state funds for education, public education and higher education will have devastating long-term consequences. We must align our state investments in these vital institutions, specifically targeting funds for proven best practices like dual credit courses and career and technical education that boost success rates across our entire education system while advancing career readiness for young people. To reduce funding in either area undermines not just seamless collaboration between K through 12 and higher education, but creates a catastrophic future for us all. The best return on investment of valuable state dollars takes place when students earn high school and college credit simultaneously through dual credit courses, as demonstrated by the near 100% graduation rates of early college high school students. However, institutions of higher education are experiencing significant financial strains due to increasing demand and state regulations that require them to waive tuition and all general fees. With huge increases in enrollment and the positive impact on those students, we simply must provide sufficient funding and high quality learning experience to propel students toward high school graduation, credentials, and middle skilled job degrees. Every 1% increase in New Mexico's high school graduation rate will translate into a minimum $9.6 million in increased annual earnings for these students and generate an additional $830,000 annually in state revenues. Strong, aligned career and technical education pathways can scale the success and impact of the early college high school model to help even more students graduate, obtain workforce skills, and step into real and relevant jobs in New Mexico's workforce sooner and at less cost. Expanding regional success also means continuing to improve and expand our infrastructure. DACLC has a history of supporting infrastructure investments that improve the quality of life for all citizens. Planning, design, and construction of this intersection would improve the flow of traffic through and along both roadways. Not only does this benefit current and new businesses, access for public safety vehicles, it also reduces traffic. The Dragonfly Channel will be built on Las Cruces East Mesa to carry stormwater from the Brahman Dam to Isaacs Lake. It will be a key element to the East Mesa Master Drainage Plan. The project will benefit thousands of residents and protect both private and public investments in the area. A squad vehicle takes the place of larger fire apparatus when responding to medical emergencies and can transport critical patients when an ambulance is delayed due to system overload. It also reduces response times to emergency incidents. $140,000 is requested to purchase a new squad vehicle to be used by the Las Cruces Fire Department. A 12,000 foot by 150 foot crosswind runway at the International Jetport will allow a wider variety of aircraft to use the airport in varying wind and weather conditions, providing for safer airport operations and expansion of business related flights. This investment in phase one will fund the preliminary design, which will then be submitted to the FAA for consideration.
Upon approval, 90% of the estimated $31 million in construction costs will be federally funded with a 10% local match. The region and state will benefit from increased opportunities for business growth, job creation, and an increased capacity to compete in international trade. Mobile data terminals are computerized devices used in police cars that will help them be safer and more efficient. The terminals feature a screen to view information and a keyboard or keypad for entering information. They may also be connected to various peripheral devices. This request is for $105,000. The Doniana County Fairgrounds are more than 60 years old and in need of ongoing infrastructure improvements. The county is requesting funds for the first phase of replacing the water system, which is in the design phase. Subsequent phases will consist of construction and a water storage tank. Brannigan Cultural Center in Las Cruces is on the national and state registries of historic buildings. It hosts a permanent local history exhibit, changing cultural exhibits, educational programs, classes, and other special events. The city is requesting $100,000 to remove asbestos and replace the center's ceiling. For Donia Anna County Emergency Services to meet the growing demands of the Santa Teresa Industrial Park, Port of Entry, Union Pacific Railroad Intermodal Facility, and International Jet Port, the Hazmat Fire Station needs a $400,000 investment to add a third apparatus bay with a kitchen. Fire Station 2 protects a diverse area that ranges from the busy retail corridor of El Paseo Street to the quiet neighborhoods of Mesilla Park. It is home to the department's air management program. The program is responsible for servicing the self-contained breathing apparatus as well as the refilling and maintaining air cylinders and oxygen bottles. $100,000 is requested to plan, design, and build a new parking lot, drive pads, and aprons. Body cameras are a video recording system used by law enforcement to record their interactions with the public or gather video evidence at crime scenes. They have been known to increase both officer and citizen accountability. The cameras are often on the front of a shirt to provide a first-person perspective and more complete chain of evidence. $40,000 will help purchase 40 body cameras for the Las Cruces Police Department. Las Cruces playgrounds are used year-round. They have many moving parts, and due to the wear and tear, components need to be repaired, and in some instances, replaced. This is a safety and liability issue. $100,000 is requested for worn-out playground equipment that has been inspected and prioritized for repair and or replacement. Healthcare providers in Doña Ana County receive less in medical reimbursements than those in Albuquerque, while commercial health premiums are higher in Las Cruces than Albuquerque. Lower reimbursement rates make it harder to attract and retain new physicians in southern New Mexico, so we request policy that brings parity to physician reimbursements statewide, making quality health care available to all state residents. Changes in para rules prohibit knowledgeable, experienced workers from re-entering public service following retirement. However, New Mexico agencies need these skilled workers to fill vital positions. Amending para prohibitions could greatly ease shortages and qualified workers to strengthen the infrastructure of many communities. We must end high-cost lending abuses with enforcement of the Unfair Trade Practices Act and Small Loan Act by the New Mexico Attorney General and the Director of the New Mexico Department of Regulation and Licensing. High-interest lending traps borrowers and their families in cycles of debt, takes money out of consumers' pockets, damages local businesses, and reduces jobs in local economies. Interest and fees offered by small loan companies and non-chartered lenders should be dramatically reduced from exorbitant interest rates of 300 to 600 percent to no more than 36 percent for all loan products. New Mexico has two independent IRB provisions applicable to municipalities and counties separately. Differences between the two are loopholes, enabling IRB applicants to bypass a county to seek better terms from a municipality for identical projects in an identical location. Having a single application process provides economic development projects predictability and certainty.
Removing the sunset clause exempting gross receipts tax for special events would make Doniana County more competitive with El Paso for artist routing. With 40% of event goers from the El Paso region and these events providing 300 student jobs, extending the exemption will ensure New Mexico continues to hold a competitive advantage that positively impacts our economy. Preserving hold harmless distributions from the state to local governments is crucial. Comprehensive tax reform is needed to provide stability, equity, and balance in secured revenue streams for local governments and the state of New Mexico. Eliminating distributions of GRT funds to local governments will be devastating for residents without ensuring other revenue streams for cities and counties that are reliable and stable. Loss of revenues could harm all agencies in southern New Mexico that rely on the service provided, as well as limiting economic development and infrastructure repairs that would grow the tax base to municipalities. Slight revisions to the way gross receipts tax information is provided by the state to local governments would better allow local governments to analyze specifics about the local market. It would allow governments to help exporting businesses market their products. This is existing data that the state is already collecting from businesses on their tax reporting. Thank you very much for spending some of your valuable time listening to our requests.